and good afternoon everybody it's Sid from Partridge Exterior Cleaning uh, yeah long time no see it's been about 11 days I think since my last video uh, which is unlike me um, stressed me out a bit actually because I was bloody noise around her um, yeah I was doing uh, really well with the videos I was getting sort of two out a week really um, but yeah so this video is basically just going to be a little life update I mean I doubt as you can see um, I doubt anyone's been doing much work recently, have we? I know there's a few guys around the country that have had their vans out on the road every day in these minus temperatures. Um, but definitely, yeah, definitely, I definitely wouldn't be one of those people. Yeah, too cold for me, don't enjoy it. And also there's been a few updates in uh, my life. So yeah, this is just gonna be a little, yeah, life update basically, a little vlog, tell you what's going on. Um, yeah, and sort of explain some videos that are gonna be coming up. Uh, so this will probably screw my watch time doing a video like this because people will probably just click off it straight away but um yeah oh well um yeah so reason for not being many videos apart from the weather is i had a little girl two days ago um it's my second child she was born i think it was 18 minutes past eight on the 9th of february um all healthy all well which is uh brilliant so yeah that's one of the reasons basically i took pretty much a good two weeks off work as well because i thought she was coming earlier and i didn't really want to risk being stuck uh, on a roof um or in the middle of a roof in job with the scaffolding tower up and having to shoot off straight away and then potentially being there be in and out of the hospital for a few days so um yeah i'll put a stop to work and to be honest i mean as everyone's seen the weather has been atrocious there hasn't been sort of a february like this for a few years really um, it's definitely been a good four years maybe uh, since we've had sort of a yeah February this bad it's been sort of unworkable for a lot of it um, and with jobs like ours it's uh, icy and, and cold it's not a good mix when you work with ladders or you're scraping moss off roofs that's stuck onto it and frozen um, so yeah um, so yeah apart from that um, yeah I'll, I'll pop in some little pictures maybe of my daughter um, so yeah apart from that um, I've got a couple of things that I've bought because I've been sitting around with nothing to do, so I've just ended up shopping. Um, I'll show you this now. Right then, voila, that is a 30 foot Renegade pole. Um, yeah, this was just a bit of a peace of mind purchase, to be honest, because I usually work with a 25 foot, um, which is this one. Now, I haven't had any issues with using that um, at all. This this has been fine. I've, I've pretty much reached every roof that I've came across with it. Um, but... Um, I've got a couple of jobs that are coming up this month, if I can get to them, if not next month, that are just, it's, a lot of them are over conservatories and things like that. And from what my understanding is, a lot of the guys that use the 30 foot Renegade, they never really have any issues getting over conservatories. So I thought that extra five feet um, might really come in handy. Um, so yeah, it's quite a long pole, as you can see. Um, yeah, plus the fact of I'm gonna have a lot of people working with me um, from now on as well. Um, so now I've got two poles that are similar sizes because my other one is this guy here sorry about all this mess by the way um yeah this was the one that i started out using uh yeah 18 foot renegade i mean you can see the, the size difference so yeah um i feel bad if i was gonna have to give that to someone to try and use um while working with me because it's a bit of a pain um secondly uh you'll all be happy to hear there's a harness in there um yeah so i can harness myself onto my ladders now or onto the scaffolding High vis just for show, who really needs it, but it makes you look more professional, I guess. And a helmet for when I'm up on the scaffolding as well. Um, yeah, just so I look a little bit more safe, I guess, to customers and neighbors. Um, yeah, that's that's about it, really. Uh, oh, actually, I've got a new lance again. Sorry about the mess. It's just, I need to sort all this out. Uh, so Ben from Rutland Pumps hooked me up. He helped me out because not many lances fit the original hose that comes on this pressure washer. Um, so he sorted me out. So I've got a new hose on there now. Um, and a new lance, um, which is really smart, really nice. I've got this nice turbo nozzle uh, with it. And they threw in this little rinse nozzle for free, which was nice of them. So thank you to Ben from Rutland Pumps. I appreciate that. Right then, and yeah, so um, in terms of videos coming up, there's gonna be a lot of them. Um, as long as the weather lets me, um, I've actually got um, the most work ever that I've ever had booked in at the moment, sort of ready to do. Partly because of time off and partly I've had some really good adverts that have done really well. Um, so yeah, I've got a, a whole lot of roofs to do. Um, I'm already booking up work for April and things now. So yeah, there should be no shortages, shortages of videos um, as long as this ice decides to go um, and it gets a little bit warmer. 
um, yeah, it's not as bad um, as some people are getting it here in Burton, but it's still not the right conditions um, for doing roof cleaning, which is what most of my work is going to be at the moment. Um, yeah, I know some people are sitting at like minus six, minus seven and stuff like that, but yeah, it's about minus two here, but um, throughout the day when it warms up, I could um, sort of scrape the moss off, which is probably, I'm going to start one tomorrow, I think, um, and see how it goes, scrape the moss off, um, but then obviously I'll have to return when it gets a bit warmer to be by side in these roofs because really you shouldn't be using it under like six degrees they say eight um, but i've used it into that six degrees and it's fine um so it might be a little while before we get to that point um i've got a video coming up uh also as well um which everyone should tune in for uh mike from gk pro which is a biocide manufacturer um has sent me um a sample to use and test out um, it's one of the big three, they're sort of a bit newer on the market than Algo Clear and Benz. Um, so it's sending me to do sort of a review on them, so I'll give a nice honest review on that and let you know if it's worth the money. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So sorry this is another just chatting and talking video. Um, I did really want to get a good, a good one out really, but I've had no time obviously with the baby being born and the icy weather, no chance at the moment. Um, so I hope everyone's doing well. Um, if you're out working, fair play to you. Um, yeah, I respect it. I know my dad's been out working today um, down in Gloucestershire. It's freezing. He said the water's freezing on the glass, but he's just cracking on. Um, so, yeah, fair play to everyone that's doing that because it's not for me at the moment, to be honest. But, um, but yeah, so I may have a video out tomorrow or the next few days with a, a, a roof cleaner. It. But if not, um, we'll be looking sort of weekend next week to start getting things moving again and cranking the videos out. And, um, yeah. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Sorry, it's another chatting video, but thank you very much for watching. Just a little update for everyone. All right, peace, take care.